Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany for those of you who are new, so welcome. Today I will be doing a tutorial on this eye look that you see right here. And yes, you guys will be zoomed in a lot farther so you can actually see what I'm doing. It's super quick and simple. I believe I used three colors from this palette right here. It is on the new Pat McGrath Subliminal Dark Star Eyeshadow Palette and I love it after this tutorial. This blue is everything that I could have ever wanted and it's why I picked up this palette. So if you guys wanted to see a tutorial using that blue from the palette, then just keep watching. Alright, so honestly this is probably going to be a really quick tutorial. Um, I think I saw something similar on Pat McGrath's Instagram and she really just used the gray and the blue in this palette which is I think what I'm going to do. I'm wearing a blue hoodie today to work. Um, so I'm just going to start in my crease using the gray shade called Deep Space. Go ahead and show it up for you guys. So it is the top shade in the middle up there. But I'm going to go ahead and start with my JH33 and just start putting this in my crease. I'm not sure what to expect because I have not played with this palette yet. So, so far it seems to be blending out like really beautifully, so that's a good sign. I already had issues with my face makeup today. I had to redo it because my powder didn't want to work with the concealer I was using, which is really weird. So I bought the Lawless, um, it's like the brightening powder instead of using the normal translucent that I always use. And I put it on and it just did not want to mesh with what I was using. So I had to take off this side of my face that I already did and then redo it. So I'm hoping I don't have any issues with this palette either. But I think I am going to keep it like really simple today. Probably just use like two or three shades maybe max. Um, so I don't want to dip into other palettes, especially since this palette is already like $55. Um, I don't want to do a tutorial where you need multiple palettes. I think I was a little messier on this side, so it's going to take me a little bit longer to blend this side out. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is go in with the blue shade in this palette. It's gorgeous. It's this shade right here. It's called Interstellar. And I'm actually going to apply this with my finger. I know you can use a wet brush, which is usually what I use for the other one, but I kind of wanted to feel the texture of it too, so it's super pretty. I'm going to go ahead and just tap this and gently swipe across my lid. This color is really pretty. It has like pink reflux in it, which I really like. I actually wanted this palette just for this shade, to be honest. Alright, so I honestly didn't really get too much thought, which is awesome. So I'm going to wipe off my finger with a makeup wipe. So next, I'm going to take this really small Morphe and Jack and Help brush, which is the JH37. I'm going to dip into that gray again and tap off the excess and just sweep this under my lower lash line. I'm going to take it in my crease and like right above the blue, just blend that on both sides. Alright, and then I really want to take a small brush and dip into a little bit of the black shade in this palette called Dark Matter. I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe um, JH40 brush to do this. I really like how small this brush is and how precise it can be, so I'm going to put this in my crease in the outer V. And then into my crease. Alright, this is definitely like a deep, smoky look. And I'm actually like living for it. So I'm just going to take this brush. I actually wiped off the um, extra on a paper towel. And just kind of kind of smudge and blend the outer corner that I just did. Alright, and just to make sure I didn't lose any of the pretty blue. I am going to go in with a wet... Um, brush and just pack on more. This is the Marc and Jack Hill JH41. So I'm going to go back into Interstellar, the pretty blue, and just make sure it's all nice and packed on because I didn't want to lose any of it or have it like kind of dull. I really want it to like pop and it'll help kind of blend it into the black as well. Alright, so right now I'm going to go in with some liner. This is actually the Pat McGrath 
Extreme Black Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil. I picked this up um, last weekend when the sale was still going on. Man, I'm itchy. But I actually, I've used the brown and I really like it. So I'm going to try out the black one today. They glide on super nice, which is awesome because I don't have to like pull on my lid or anything, which is nice. All right. I really like how that looks. I really like how easy this liner glides on. So I'm going to go ahead and put some on my lower lash line as well. I don't think I've tried this on my waterline yet. So it's going to be interesting to see how it does compared to the Marc Jacobs that I usually use, like the stain power and everything. So I will put that in the description bar down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some mascara and lashes and I will come back and show you the finished look. All right, so I think my lashes are actually still drying, but I am wearing the Ardell Mega Volume and Style 250. I wanted to go ahead and throw them on off camera and let them dry most of the way, hopefully. Um, I know my blush is a little bit heavier right now, but that's because blush wears off on me in like a good hour. So that's why. I did go a little crazy with the highlight, but this looks a little crazy. So I put on this nude lip. I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's like a little dark, but I wish it was like a little bit lighter, like more of like my skin tone, but... I'm in a hurry, so it's whatever. But yeah, so this is the finished look. Super simple, and I really love these Pat McGrath palettes so far. I've been using this other red one that I already have a tutorial on up on my channel, like literally every day. There's a couple shades in here that have been like perfect for my go-to everyday look. And I have a feeling that this one is gonna be quickly like become a favorite like night out. Makeup palette, honestly, I mean, I wear this kind of makeup to work and just going grocery shopping. So, you know, they're both going to be great everyday palettes. But anyways, enough rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. And let me know if you guys want to see any tutorials using any of these Huda Beauty Obsession palettes. I do have the purple and the green. And I have been playing around with the purple. I haven't played with the green yet. So let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. And comment down below or DM me, whatever. You all message me like different ways, like on Instagram or Snapchat or just whatever. And honestly, I don't really have a preference. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe to my channel down below and follow me on my socials, especially Snapchat, Instagram. And I keep mentioning my blog, but I've been slacking so hard. I really need some time to do a blog post. I should have... The next two days off so hopefully I will actually be able to go and do like a fitting room try on blog posts like I've been wanting to but anyways thank you guys again be sure and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys